Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the introduction. Um, I'm from uh, a new uh, laboratory uh, called Matebe uh, for material for energy efficiency in building. It's a, a, a laboratory shared uh, between INSA de Lyon and uh, EDF, Research and Development, where I am in charge of these uh, studies. So uh, in, in this room, uh, I think there is uh, many uh, material architect in, uh, in, in the room, but in the building, uh, we have our own architect, and they used to fill gaps and holes in the city, in the street, in the landscape. And uh, sometimes it's excessive, and sometimes some holes remains, but there is uh, perhaps a hidden feature, isn't it? Uh, closer to our subject, uh, for energy efficiency in building, we fill some uh, gaps and holes uh, for insulation and air tightness. Uh, in fact, there is uh, many examples of uh, architecture materials in, uh, for a building. Um, these are some examples, and we will focus on these uh, three uh, examples. The traditional insulation material, the super insulation material, and uh, uh, its storage uh, material. The, the field uh, address is the envelope of the building, but also is a, its equipments. So the main function are obvious, that's thermal insulation and thermal storage, but there is m many other and varied uh, secondary uh, function, and uh, they uh, can uh, be the, the main constraint uh, for the material. My topic is divided in, so in, two, uh, in, in, in two points, the thermal insulation in first and, and then thermal storage. And you will find on the next slide some uh, colored arrow uh, in orange for a uh, slide uh, for, for uh, background and general information, uh, in green for uh, the current example, and uh, purple for the needs and uh, exploratory <coughs> work. So uh, let's jump to the thermal insulation. The most useful uh, space uh, to, uh, uh, to, to plot the, the, the different material solution uh, is uh, this uh, space. Uh, we, we, we can have the, the, the two main uh, performance indexes uh, for thickness optimization or cost optimization. Uh, this is the conductivity and this is uh, the, the performance, the cost of the performance, namely the cost of a product uh, of one uh, square meter uh, uh, with the thermal resistance of uh, uh, one uh, square meter Kelvin per watt. So the, 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 the goal, of course, is to, 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 to go to, to the bottom left corner. And, uh, Depending on, on the class of the, the, the material, we find two axes to do this, that. The first is for the traditional material, uh, which are uh, cheap, and, uh, but we want to improve their uh, conductivity. And the second axis is for super insulation material. They have good uh, conductivity, but we want to reduce their cost. So for the first axis, uh, we can take the example of the expanded polystyrene. Uh, that, that the relation between conductivity and density for this uh, polystyrene. And the, the, the shape of, uh, um, sorry, we, we, of course we want to, to shift this, uh, this uh, relation to the, to the lower left. And the, sh the, the shape of this this curve came from the, the, the different contribution to the global conductivity. In red, the infrared radiation in the material, in, in purple, the solid conduction, and in green, the gaseous conduction. And uh, recently, the only way to improve this uh, global conductivity was to uh, lower the uh, contribution of the radiation. Uh, this was successful, and uh, now uh, we, we are able to, 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 to sell uh, the expanded polystyrene on the, uh, light, uh, on the light blue uh, curve. 
In practice, to do that, um, uh, the optimization of the, of the uh, solid skeleton uh, was already existing and uh, uh, it was achieved for the, uh, the last white polystyrene you, 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 you know. And the improvement for the radiation uh, is obtained by the dispersion of micrometric particles on the uh, wall cells. And uh, of course, to do that, uh, there is a strong link with the, with the process. Um, the, the same approach exists, in fact, for the uh, mineral or organic wool. Uh, to uh, lower the, ra uh, the radiation uh, contribution, uh, we decrease the diameter of the fiber, but we have uh, doing that, we have also to, to, to manage the other uh, properties, like the mechanical properties, and there is some, so, some way to do, to do that. Uh, it depends on uh, the nature uh, of the fiber. Um, this is the, main, the, the master curve for um, the evolution of uh, conductivity according to the density of the, of the material. And of course, to, 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 to improve uh, the, the, the thermal insulation material, uh, we, we have to, 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 to go lower uh, as possible. And uh, this was done uh, in the past for uh, the, these materials, which are the cellular polymer filled with heavy gases. But we, we, in fact, we want to go much lower than, than, than this. And the, the, the first possibility is uh, what we call super insulation at atmospheric pressure, SIEP. Um, in fact, it's the, 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 the family of the aerogels uh, material. The, there is another family. Uh, it's the vacuum insulation panel. It's not really a material, it, it's more a product and uh, we will see some uh, details about uh, it. Uh, why we uh, call them super insulation material? That's because their conductivity is below uh, that of uh, steel air. That's the definition. Um, uh, how does it work? If, if we uh, take the example of the, the previous uh, uh, polystyrene, uh, we, we see that the, the contribution of the, uh, of the gas is the main one. And if, if we want to, 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 to go to the super insulation, uh, we have to reduce this contribution. And there is three ways to do, to do that. The, we can replace air by heavy gases. Uh, we can lower the pressure or uh, we can uh, have some molecular containment. And in fact, these two last ones are equivalent as shown by the, this relation from Knudsen. Here you have the product of the pressure and the pore size. And that's why there is a great benefit to uh, nanostructure the, the porosity of uh, these materials. That's shown on, on this graph which show the, the conductivity of the gas uh, versus the pressure. And uh, we, we can see that uh, the, the, the conductivity decreases when we decrease the pressure, but it decreases uh, uh, at higher pressure for small pores on, on the right than for large pores on the left. So we, we, have, we have here the, the, the two families of uh, super insulation material. The vacuum insulation panel, uh, uh, use uh, low pressure and medium size uh, of pores, while the uh, super insulation at atmospheric pressure have to use smaller pore size. So uh, the, the vacuum insulation panel is the best uh, material uh, for in insulation uh, at uh, ambient temperature. Uh, we have some conductivity uh, below the uh, 10 milliwatt per meter and per Kelvin. It could drop to uh, below 2 milliwatt per uh, uh, milliwatt per meter and, and Kelvin. But it needs 
uh, a very high protection against uh, the uh, atmospheric gases, uh, air, of course, but uh, uh, also uh, water vapor. So the structure of the VIP is uh, always like that. Uh, we find a core material in Europe we use to, um, um, to um, made it uh, with uh, uh, nanostructured granular silica uh, kept uh, under vacuum by a barrier multilayer solid and uh, with an external um, protection with the cladding. So the issue are uh, obviously on the, on the barrier and on the core material. The thermal properties of the core material are optimized uh, with the, the, the three uh, already seen uh, contribution. The gaseous conduction by the, the control of the porosity, uh, of the, the size of the porosity of the pores, and the solid conduction by the control of the density and of the uh, skeleton uh, morphology. And as in the EPS, uh, we have some uh, infrared opacification also. But for this uh, core material, uh, we have also to uh, manage some uh, difficult compromise between the mechanical properties, the agric properties, and the thermal properties. And um, the, 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 the knowledge to do that uh, is not sufficient. It's, it, we have poor knowledge, or so sometimes we, we, we haven't uh, nothing. Uh, so so the, this specification is uh, very com com complex. Uh, to simplify, on, on one hand, uh, we have some uh, the, the fume silica, which is um, uh, resistant, uh, mechanically resistant, moderately uh, hydrophobic. Uh, have good uh, thermal properties, but uh, uh, it's uh, costly. On the other hand, we have uh, the precipitated uh, silica, uh, mechanically weak, uh, hydrophilic, uh, with not so good uh, thermal properties, but cheap. And uh, we, 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 we have to, uh, to, 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 to answer to uh, this question, to not only to make the choice between the, these two kinds of, uh, of silica, but really to design the core material, because there is also fiber, opacifier, getters, and uh, binders, and, uh, and so on. But th that's a, a, a big topic uh, today uh, for research. Concerning the uh, VIP envelope, uh, we call them ultra barrier laminates. That's a, a multi-layer polymer metal uh, with uh, welded edges. And they have uh, four main functionality uh, obtained by one or uh, several uh, different layers. The mechanical resistance is often obtained by PET film. The manufacturing and lamination uh, through adhesive, uh, the sealing through uh, <coughs> polyolefin film, and finally, the barrier against air and water vapor by aluminum layer, either laminated aluminum, uh, which is very tight, but uh, lead to uh, poor uh, VIP conductivity, either uh, metallized aluminum layer, which, is, uh, uh, which uh, give uh, good uh, VIP conductivity, but um, it's a bit limit for the permission of the, uh, of the gases. So the ongoing question about the barrier envelope uh, is to optimize this uh, complex architecture of the, the, the barrier to, 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 to match the, 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 these properties. Uh, of course, the permeation, but the mechanical strengths also, and uh, all the problem of damages during the manufacturing and service. Uh, as well as aging, uh, because we, we, we want to, uh, to operate during uh, 50 years in the, uh, in the building. The cost, of, of course, is, is another point. The second family, uh, the superinsulation at atmospheric pressure, is the family of the aerogel materials. And the, 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 the main one is the, uh, are the silica aerogels. They are 
thermally very efficient, but uh, uh, mechanically very weak, uh, as shown on this, on this slide. Uh, this lead to uh, uh, great brittleness and, uh, and dust. Uh, so we, we have to manage this, uh, this uh, relation. And if we, um, if we go to, to, to this uh, space, material space, conductivity and, and, and some uh, uh, mechanical properties, the, the building application uh, uh, lead to, to, to have this uh, er, goal area. And unfortunately, uh, the, the bulk silica or gel is, is far from, from, from that uh, place. And uh, if we want to be realistic, we have uh, to, to start not from bulk, but uh, for, uh, from the granular pure silica aerogel in, in light blue. And uh, if we mix uh, as a composite uh, some uh, uh, silica aerogel with a common uh, polymer like polyurethane, uh, we, 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 we can obtain uh, uh, good uh, mechanical properties. But the, 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 the conductivity target is not rich in, in, in that way. So uh, there is so uh, three uh, approaches to, uh, to, 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 to get it. The first one is the binder uh, and, or composite uh, 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 approach. Uh, the second is the fully, uh, fully organic aerogel, and uh, the third is uh, hybrid aerogel. The, the first family, binding or uh, composite, um, is in the industrial or pre-industrial phases. And, uh, uh, the, the the material uh, to 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 make the, this uh, panel uh, with uh, binding uh, granular aerogel uh, is a, uh, a very uh, perfect example of a material by design, and uh, you you can uh, see uh, my presentation on March on, on this subject. Uh, I will skip this uh, this point uh, to today. The, the, the two other uh, approach, organic and uh, hybrid uh, aerogel, are uh, in the laboratory feasibility uh, phase. For the organic aerogel, the, the, the big challenge is the balance between the, the density and the pore size. And uh, we, we want to, 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 to answer to, to the, the, the question of the possible uh, chemical system uh, of the, what are the insurmountable limitations uh, with the, 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 the polymers and the, is the biosourced viable. But we have uh, also a hard point on the, on the egregic behavior of this, uh, these systems uh, for the elaboration of the material itself, but also for the uh, aging during uh, service. And we can note some recent advances uh, on that topic with uh, cellulose acetate and aeropectin with a very good uh, conductivity uh, here. Uh, we can note also the, uh, the successful hydrophobization of aeropolysaccharide. And uh, I think uh, perhaps the, these uh, materials are the next generation of uh, material for super insulation for a uh, mass market like uh, building. So it's here the opportunity for me to call to a French initiative to boost this uh, research. For the hybrid aerogels, uh, there is also uh, action underway and uh, they aim to, uh, to, to, to obtain some mechanical referencement and uh, flexibility. Um, to do that, uh, it, it's done by uh, architecturation at very small scale, as you can see, because the, 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 the diameter of the, the, the primary particle of silica is around 10 nanometer. And we can note also uh, some recent advances uh, with very flexible uh, cellulose silica aerogel and also very promising uh, hybrid uh, silica polyurethane aerogel. Okay, that's time to uh, go to the thermal storage uh, material uh, 
Eve uh, tell uh, some uh, uh, us uh, some words about uh, what the, that uh, uh, yesterday. Um, thermal storage or inertia for uh, what for? First, for arising the eating uh, during the peak consumption between 18 and, uh, and, and uh, 20 o'clock, but also to improve the efficiency of heat pumps uh, uh, with a favorable, favorable temperature uh, to operate and with a, a bet, uh, better um, uh, uh, and to operate with long cycle, which is uh, good for the, the heat pumps. Uh, and uh, finally, of course, uh, for solar uh, thermal capture with time scale between uh, the day and the season. If we, um, th th this uh, example is, uh, is a plate of phase change material for uh, walls in buildings. And uh, uh, this is, uh, we, we have three main functionality uh, in, in a, a such uh, product. Of course, the storage uh, of energy, but also the heat exchanger for the power of this system and uh, because of the, of the liquid phase, the, the container uh, al uh, also. And as you can see, th th there is uh, many uh, material property involved in this uh, in these, uh, functionality. The storage on one hand is a mass property and the exchange is a transport property. So the, the, uh, we imagine that uh, architecture could be the, 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 the right way to, uh, to, to, to catch the, 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 these two points. If we take for the, the example a very simple case uh, which is a, a panel of uh, PCM restoring uh, it uh, near the ambient temperature uh, in the in the air, uh, we, we we obtain for the the material performance index for this uh, case this uh, relation. And uh, what we can see is is that uh, we have not only material parameter in in blue, but also some system parameter in in, in green. And what is uh, this relation show? That's we, we need an equilibrium between the uh, exchange coefficient and the thermal resistance of the panel. And for air application, the, 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 the value for uh, H, uh, the, the exchange coefficient are between 8 and uh, 50 uh, watt per square meter and per Kelvin. And if we uh, consider a, a, a panel with a half thickness of 20 millimeter, uh, this uh, lead to uh, a required conductivity over one uh, watt per meter and per Kelvin. And if we plot the, 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 the material properties in, in, in that space, the conductivity and the heat uh, stored, uh, we can see first that we need to go to the PCM uh, to, to have the, 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 the required uh, energy density. But uh, we see that there is no candidate with the right uh, conductivity for this uh, simple example. So we have to boost the, uh, the, the conductivity of, oh, sorry, of this material. This is uh, done, like uh, we, we see the, the, the results, and, uh, by uh, two, uh, two A. Uh, one uh, with uh, a, a structure and uh, the other with a microstructure here, uh, 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 steel wool. Okay, so there is no uh, simple uh, answer to the question by the material or by the, the, the structure because of the strong coupling between the system and the material. Uh, it's always depend on the application. Um, just uh, uh, a word about uh, thermochemical storage, uh, because it, it, it's a good example for uh, needs uh, about uh, uh, architecture and material. For building application, the, the salt hydration is very appealing, but in fact it doesn't uh, work very well. 
because of uh, insufficient uh, energy density, low power and irreversibility. <laughs> and uh, so there is a need, the need of a hierarchical control porosity like the lung uh, in order to, 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 to give the opportunity to the active material to, 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 to work well, uh, to, to, to have uh, 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 to work well. So uh, that, that, that's really uh, a field where uh, we, uh, we want to uh, approach this problem by the architecturation of, of material. If you have solution, uh, please uh, t t t tell me. <laughs> um, Finally, uh, uh, just an outlook uh, to the future building envelope thermal components. Uh, their main aim is to better get the free inputs, but they are many free inputs, heat, cold, clean air, light, and energy. And uh, this involves thermal storage, uh, of course, uh, without forget the thermal insulation. And at the intersection lie the concept of active walls, and uh, we can find very different uh, possibilities. So that uh, this uh, constitute uh, 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 a fine field for uh, architecture and material to, uh, to, to, to give solution. Okay, just to conclude, I want to underline that uh, the material for energy efficiency of building uh, for many are multifunctional. Their development are widely based on the architecture of material at various scale, and uh, so okay for filling gaps in material space, but not to fill the material pores, of course. Thank you for your attention.